Yo, what's up, Honkai Star Rail fam? Today's going to be a bit of a short one, like a semi short one. So, I've seen a lot of people, uh, a couple of my comments, and a couple of the, you know, the internet and stuff, in forums and Twitter and stuff like that. So, some people have been saying they're going to be skipping Low Char for a four star abundance character that is going to be coming out later sometime. God knows, no one knows when, God knows when that will outperform him. Now, before I get any further into this video, I just want to let you know that if you're a person who doesn't give an F about stats or meta, you, you just pull for your favorite designs and your favorite characters that you love, this video is a waste of your time. I'd rather you not waste your watch time and get a move on. Don't waste your time here, man. This is for the people who go for meta. And again, I'm not taking shots at no one. I'm taking no shots at no one in this video. I'm just talking about this specific subject that I've seen going around and why it's honestly not even worth it waiting for this four star abundance character, right? So when we're talking about skipping low char, we're talking about skipping a long-term investment. When I, in my last video, said that low char was, well, not my last video, but my last, last video. But when I said that low char was a must have for free to play players, I was talking about in the long term, like the longevity of having him on your team, right? Having him as a character on your roster for the long term of this game. Right now, we're in a phase of this game in Honkai Star Rail. We haven't got any rerun banners yet. That won't happen for quite a long time. That won't happen for quite a while. So in the meantime, we've only got one five-star character right up at a time. And they come with three four-star characters, right? Three four-star characters. Let's, the number three, let's keep that up there, right? So when we're looking at four stars, we're gonna be looking at these four-star characters first. The reason for this is because your four-star characters, right? As a free-to-play player who cares about meta or your characters, like your account, your, your roster, Pulling for a four star is a waste of your time. It's an absolute waste of your, pulling solely for a four star, if you care about this stuff, is a waste of your time. The reason being is because this so-called four star abundance character that people are waiting for, could end up being on a five star character that you absolutely would not want on your account. Let's say for example, just an example, let's say you're a person who's like, I don't want Jing Yuan on my account at all but I want Ting Yun, right? I'm a prime example of this, and I know I should know better, but I didn't. I actually pulled on this banner for Ting Yun, right? And I'm gonna show you how long it took me to get her. Here's Ting Yun right here, right? So my five, if we start from where my last five star was, because I haven't pulled Jing Yuan yet, right? So we gotta start from page eight, that's 35 pulls, but we got her just before the top one, so that's 34 pulls that took me. That took me 34 pulls to get one Ting Yun copy. In that time frame, I pulled two marches, a four star light con, another four star light con, Su Shang, and another four star light con. And I pulled all that way before I got Ting Yun. One copy of Ting Yun, right? Just one copy. And that was on the rate up banner. And the reason being is because if you look at the details of a rate up banner for four stars, is the base chance of getting one is a 5.1%, right? That's fine. Here's the thing though once you get a four star, there's a 50% chance of that and this is specifically for the rate of banner there's a 50 percent chance of that four star being a four star character in the game like naturally from the rest of the roster or one of the three rate up four stars then on top of that you are fighting you are fighting between three different characters on this 50 percent chance which i don't know if this percentage goes out equally i don't know how that then works from there but the chances are very 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 low if you're a genshin player you know this when it comes to meta, pulling for four stars is a waste of your time. I, don't, I stand by this, but I'm not really too much of a meta person myself. I'm not too meta, but I'm just putting the knowledge out there that is a waste of your time. So when I say low char is a must have for free to play players, I'm talking about that from an aspect of a long term effect on your account when it comes to long term play. Now, I'm not knocking down Silver Wolf. We haven't even spoken about Silver Wolf yet. I'm not knocking her down at all. Silver Wolf is a freaking great freaking like character we're gonna get into her in another, in another video don't worry about that but specifically for the people who are out there going oh i'm waiting for this four-star abundance do you really want to sit there and pray that this four-star abundance you're waiting on is on a five-star character's banner that you care about because if it doesn't end up being that way you're gonna end up pulling for this four-star and you could be like 70 pulls in and only have one or even zero. it can happen zero copies it can happen you can ask anyone out there man it's like you know it's not worth pulling for four stars because you could end up accidentally getting a five star that you don't want i myself got very lucky and got well it's not even lucky really to be 34 freaking pulls to get Ting Yun, and I stopped immediately. Uh, I think there was like one extra pull. I don't know why that's there. I have no idea. I can't even tell you why. Um, but I got my Ting Yun, and I got hella lucky, man, because I didn't want Jing Yuan. As we know from my last video, I don't want Jing Yuan, and I'm guaranteed my next five star because I pulled Japard after getting my Sealer, and I want to use that on Low Char. So I'm pretty lucky. 
it was very foolish of me to sit there and pull for 10 yen unless I was willing to spend money on the game which I get the battle pass so it's like it's not the end of the world but you know what I'm saying like I would have had to sit there and then go for low char from zero pity on the 50 50 I would have had to start from base 50 50 for low char so that's what I'm saying like going for a four star unless you really really love the character and the design like you love him that much and you don't care like what how it's going to affect your next set of pulls and the next set of banners it's a waste of your time it's a waste of your time because it can mess up your five star pulls the difference between a five star and a four star character is yes there's going to be a 50 50 chance right on that five star at a base game five star but guess what you're still guaranteed because if you miss that chance you're guaranteed to rate up five star and if you lose the 50 50 you're still getting a decent i don't think there's a single bad five star in this game. i know a lot of people say himiko is kind of uh that's fine whatever there's not a single bad like actual bad five star in this game right now at, at, as of this moment i don't think you can anyone can sit there and say this five star is actually doo-doo butter garbage no there's not a single five star not worth investing to in this game currently right now at the at the time of speaking right and we'll be at the time of speaking nine times out of ten going into low char because low char is off the silver wolf and we know silver wolf is good if you know about her already if you don't don't worry we're going to talk about another video so that's the point i was trying to get across with this video basically is hey guys do not if you are free to play and you care about meta you get, it has to be these two things have to correlate to you if you're free to play and you care about the meta do not pull for four stars now what that then does is that makes this argument about waiting for this four star abundance character a waste of your time because two reasons one like i said earlier they will end up potentially not guaranteed they have a potential chance of ending up on a five star banner that you don't want the five star from and you could accidentally pull while trying to get that four star right and number two is nine times out of ten for this four star you're gonna need depending on what their kit is you're gonna need some ada lines because by the time this abundance character comes out you've probably got some natasha copies if you've built natasha or you've got a Bailu by now, or you'll have your low chart if you've gone for low chart, right? We don't need, the, like, I'm not saying that this character is going to be useless. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying most four stars to make them really outperform five stars, you need some Adelance. Not all four stars, right? But some of them. Again, as is the case, if you're a Genshin player, you know this. There are some four star characters, meta wise, that will just never be able to compete with certain, certain, not all, certain five stars without Adelines. Now, I'm not saying this four star is not gonna be able to compete with low chart. I'm just saying, looking at the value of how valuable your pulls are in this game, if you're free to play and you're looking into meta and you're looking for characters with a lot of long longevity and long-term value to your account, low chart is not a bad pull at all. Yes, eventually, Gacha Games want you to spend money, so they will release characters in the same class that can do better than other characters. That will mainly be the five stars. That's mainly gonna be the five stars. They want you to spend money and pull for these characters. And even if there is a five, four star out there that's gonna be able to perform better than Low Char, nine times out of 10, it will be because of an Adelon or two. Like nine times out of 10. Because you know how these companies work, man. You know how these gotchas work. If you're a gotcha player, they always wanna get you to try and pull and spend money on the game. So yes, eventually, there will be a power creep somewhere down the line. We don't know when that's gonna happen, where there will be a five star abundance character that's 100% gonna be worth going for over Low Char. Most likely, I'm not gonna sit there and act like it's not gonna happen. And there might even be a four star where you can get the Adelons, but you'd be better off waiting for that four star abundance character to be on a five star character's limited banner that you want as well, rather than sitting there and pulling for them on a banner that's useless. So those are your two reasons, big reasons. Is it's just not worth it is not worth it. I can reiterate that as many times as I need to. It is literally not worth pulling for four stars if you are a free to play person and you care about meta. If you're free to play and you don't care about meta, do what you want, man. Hey. I'm all for pulling for your favorite characters. I'm pulling for Low Char because he's my favorite. It's just coincidental that he's so valuable as well as a character. And again, I'm not knocking Silver Wolf and I'm not coming for you guys who have said that you're waiting for this four star character. That's fine. Maybe you're not free to play or meta, but I just want you to consider this if you are free to play a meta and you're thinking of waiting for this four star abundance character and you're skipping Low Char, even though you was initially gonna go for him, but then you found out about this four star abundance character and you're like oh my god maybe i'm gonna skip low char just please like consider those variables at least from from that standpoint just consider these variables of is it really worth it if they end up being on a five star banner that you don't care about right and that's all i really want to talk to you guys about today it's literally just that there's just there is a lot to consider when it comes to pulling 100 percent because that's your hard-earned work for getting those gems so you do want to just be very careful with who you pull for and i myself i again normally i wouldn't i would hold back but I did end up pulling for Tingium, but that was multiple reasons. It was design, 
she's a waifu and skill as well. It was like she's a whole like she's like my little char for me. He's one pulling my little char. She's got everything I want in a character, right? That's why I ended up pulling for Tingia. That was like a special case. But going forward, I myself I will not pull on a four star unless I'm willing to drop some dough. Like it's just not it's not worth it, man. Like it's not unless they're on a five star banner that I'm after. Hence, like Yu Kong, we know Yu Kong is on low char's banner. I will be pulling for Lo Cha. Hell yeah, I'd like a Yu Kong as well. Like that's dope. So I'm gonna get some Yu Kong dupes. Hopefully, I, I hope so. Before my Lo Cha drops while pulling for Lo Cha. But if not, it is what it is. And there is there's a potential chance I could get my guaranteed Lo Cha before even pulling a Yu Kong. And that just goes back to the the base drops again because you got a 50% chance for the rate up character, one of the three rate up characters, and then a non rate up character. And those three rate up characters are fighting for that spot. You know what I'm saying? I don't know the actual number percentage, but they're fighting for that spot. It's just, it's at least your five star is a little bit more guaranteed than your four star. Now, I hope that makes sense to you guys. That was pretty much it for that video. I hope it brought some value to you and some, you know, knowledge for you to rack your brain with. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.